Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aviation Flight Sim back again uh, on YouTube. Uh, as I said before as well, we will be learning how to take off. Um, so this is a quick uh, and simple guide for learning how to take off from the active runway. Uh, I'll be posting another video soon uh, where we will start from the terminal. It will be a detailed video. We'll start from the terminal, taxi all the way towards the runway and then take off. So that will be uh, a little bit later. First, uh, let's uh, learn how to take off uh, pretty easily just from the active runway. I'll be just showing a little bit of panels, a little bit of uh, the autopilot settings, and that's all, and then we'll take off. Just before we get started, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel, uh, give it a big thumbs up, and any questions you have uh, regarding with FSX, um, so let's get into the cockpit and let's prepare our aircraft for takeoff. All right, right now, as you can see, uh, the virtual cockpit. Right now, I'm not in the correct position. This is the basic correct position here, and yeah, that's the correct position which I'm sitting in right now. So, uh, this is the cockpit of the 737-800. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It looks like a very complicated cockpit to most people, but uh, it's a very simple one, you know. Many people can just get it in a few, few videos, not a lot of, not a lot of. So, first let's get a little bit uh, information about the panels, some uh, basic systems, and systems important to, for takeoff, uh, I mean, systems important in the takeoff procedure, um, I'll tell you about it later now. Let's get to the first panel here. As you can see that this is the front panel the first panel which you will notice as soon as you get into the virtual cockpit so this panel is known as the primary flight display um, this is the display where you can see your speed your altitude your uh, you know the horizon like if you're pitching up or pitching down and many more things if the autopilot is engaged as well. so let's go from the left side to the right side uh, then even will do for all uh, the things we'll be learning today. Uh, the left side here, this shows the knots, uh, the speed. Right now we're not moving, so it's zero, zero knots, zero knots, there's no speed. Uh, this pink color 280, which you can see over here, I will show you how it changes, all right? So when we learn with the autopilot, I will tell you what is this 280, where did it come from. Let's go to the right side. You can see that the bigger guy gauge over here. Um, this is the artificial horizon uh, indicator. The blue is the sky and the brown is the ground. So let's say you're pitching up. Um, basically, in nighttime flying or in bad weather conditions, this is very helpful. Um, it shows you whether you're pitching up or down. So if there is more sky, that means you're pitching up. And if there is less, sky, uh, there is more brown side. That means you're pitching down. As simple as that. And the right side represents your altitude. So right now, you know, zero altitude, like the 40 feet, a little bit, you know. And this is the same zero, which I'll be telling you again. So these both are connected, this zero and this zero. Let's see this one. This is the multifunctional display or the MFD. Um, here, it uh, basically is your, like, kind of your GPS. Like, let's, uh, I programmed the route for, from. Uh, Dubai, this is Dubai airport right now, three zero left, to Abu Dhabi. So this uh, dotted pink color line will be repra replaced by another opaque pink color line. So that would be my route towards Abu Dhabi. It's very easy. And this heading 300, so this is the 300, heading is our 300, but this pink color line also represents our, which these all are connected with the autopilot as well. Let's get to the autopilot panel now. All right, this is the autopilot panel. Um, so let's start. Let's start from this side. I'll be including this side if you can see the cursor. 
do all the way to the world speed to the right side here will not include the course now all right so as you can see i have put some figures there 280 in the ias and max section ias represents your indicated airspeed all right and this is the a sash t arm this is the auto throttle arm so auto throttle basically defines for itself it is the automatic throttle which is controlled by the automatic pilot which is installed in the planes so if i'm going to change the speed let's say let me program the speed of 295 knots and you can see it has changed to 295 knots so this represents the speed or the altitude set in the autopilot all right so you can't arm the speed button this is the speed button which helps uh, tells the autopilot that now you're controlling the speed so for that you need to switch on the automatic throttle button and then you need to press the switch speed button i will show you more of that when we are ready to take off let's go to the right side here this is the navigation and gps switch let's put it here so again i'll program the rule from dubai to abu dhabi and i said that we will get a pink color line over here so if i wanted to follow like he said me proceed on course so the gps switch would enable with the VOR lock switch over here to tell to make the plane follow its current route it's very it's the same as that let's change it to now for now okay the heading switch again i need to get this off from now. so this heading switch represents your turn your heading so if i'm going to for a heading or let's say of 300 and the controller said turn left turn right to heading 330 and i will put the heading selected on over here all right so the plane will turn to the heading when it's uh, when the autopilot is engaged you can see that some flight directors came on this is the flight director um this is main function um to tell you uh, where is the route let's say like if it was my uh, program the route again to abu dhabi then it would um, tell us something else let's say he tells us to turn right turn left uh, so it basically tells you where you have to go all right so let's switch it off again uh, but it will come on again so let's keep it on okay this is the altitude button all right altitude hold switch here and this is the altitude hold cursor or the selector so let me program an altitude of three four thousand feet right Four thousand feet you can see that the four thousand feet is programmed and now you can see as you can see i just put the altitude hold switch and the flight director went up so it tells that you need to pitch up in order to reach the target altitude which is four thousand feet and you can see that this is cmga this is the autopilot master switch without engaging this the plane autopilot won't be engaged the auto throttle works in a different way and let's say you wanted to climb to an altitude of 4000 you just press the altitude hold switch and you say why it's not engaging that's the answer is you need to also press the cmga button all right so as you can see over here there's a word speed button this is the vertical speed um and as i program i press this it came 1800 so this 1800 is it tell it will climb 1800 per minute so this is the rate of climb or descent so let me put it to all altitude right now right and as i said here we finish it off let's put it back okay let me explain you a little bit about the flaps and then we'll go all right here we go here you can see um as you can see right here there are this is the throttle you know panel this is the center pedestal it consists of consists of the stream the speed brake the throttles the flaps the parking brakes all right so this is a very you know important or one of the most important panels so the speed brake is another you know to brake when you're on the ground or when you're in the air to reduce your speed but uh, let's talk about this these two things here 
this is the parking brake as you know so it tells for itself parking brake it's the brake when you are parked so not move just like that just like your hand brake like you know you pull it and the car is stopped in center position the hand brake um, this is the throttles all right so this is the engine number one throttle this is engine number two throttle so that right now I this is this position for them is called the idle position where they don't produce any power like they don't produce thrust all right so this is here the flap the flap uh, control switch the flap lever so these are devices which help to fly the aircraft at lower speeds so they, they create lift so let me see as here let's let's put the flaps like this and let me put it back uh, press the F7 switch to extend the flaps one by one 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 by one let's say from one degree to two degrees and if you want to extend them in slowly backwards press the F6 switch uh, in F6 button in on your keyboard so let me show you how these flaps work as you can see as you can see right there these these wings where you can see these arrows on the emergency exits let me put out uh, the flaps as you can see something looks to be going down this here are the flaps which create lift and the differential among you know the flow of air above the wing and below the end the wing they create lift as simple as that so for now we will put the flaps to five how to know that the flaps are to five here's the switch here's uh, where you can see you can see I am pointing my cursor to an integrator right now this is the flap integrator it tells that the flaps are up so if you want to bring, go get the flaps to five press the F7 switch three times one and just three times and the flaps are five degrees down so let's everything is settled now as you can see we are fully ready for takeoff Let's get back into our seat and let's power up the turtles. Alright, we are fully ready for takeoff now. We have our flap set, we have our uh, uh, autopilot speed set. We have our altitude set which we need to go. We have the flight directors on and everything is basically done. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so to move the throttles full, uh, let me tell you here. Uh, I press the alert with there. Here, alright. Okay, to move the throttle up to full, I want you to. You can press F4 which is like the throttles to fall at one time like they're not like you know it's kind of the thing in the in this uh, fsx let me open the throttle panel from here um there let me show you this is the trim pan here no sorry it's the wrong one um let me show you a minute here put up the parking brake so now I will press F4 and now you will see what happened. They go to full at one time, as you can see. So they don't go very smoothly. So to go for them very smoothly, you will now see. Key, uh, hold F3 until they are to full. And when you are uh, at speed of 130 knots, you can pitch up for takeoff. Let's go. First of all, just arm the auto throttle in case uh, you will need, you can you will not be able to, in case you're not able to hold the speed of the uh, So this time I'll be switching on the auto uh, speed hold a little bit faster to show you um, the other some other. So let's go. We can just uh, correct everything looks good. And F3 I'm holding it. It's coming to full. And smoothly all the throttles are full and now we will close the power switch all right now it is coming 
80 knots. We have some more to go. 100 knots. And we are going to wait for 30 now. This time you can lift up for takeoff. And As you can see, we have lifted up. Press G for, to retract the landing gear, and you can press F5 on the thing for uh, extending the flaps, getting them back a bit on the higher side. Press the speed hold switch for the speed hold, and you can see that the speed hold is on. And if you want, you can go to the uh, main uh, 2D cockpit for the altitude the autopilot. Or from here as well, you can just press that CMD A button and the autopilot is activated. So the plane will pitch down a little bit right now because uh, the uh, where, where I was going was very high, like I was being under more like 4,000 feet, so that's why uh, the plane pitched down. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the video. And again, if any questions regarding us, and uh, if you're subscribing, I'll be putting more videos uh, uh, pretty often. So, the next one is navigation, and stay tuned, guys. I'll meet you in the next video.